Hi guys, Daniel Kafer here to talk to you about AI and digital twins. Thanks, Lars. How do you think achieving AGI will impact stock markets? Will we see astronomical growth, like 30% or 50% growth per year? Achieving AGI could significantly impact stock markets by driving innovation and productivity across various sectors. While it's hard to predict exact growth rates, it's possible we could see substantial market gains, though 30% to 50% annual growth would be exceptionally high and likely unsustainable long term. So last week I was in Bangkok uh, to see how a new company called Fire can create what we call digital twins, so digital copies of people who have the knowledge of the people that they copy and can help you with all sorts of things. So we'll talk about what is a digital twin, how can we create a digital twin, um, and can digital twins actually add real value to us and give us our time back? So in theory, could we copy ourselves multiple times and have a 100 hour working week without really working ourselves? Let's dig into it. By the way, if you enjoy my content and you would like more of it, uh, please do me a favor and like and subscribe this video and share it with, with people that might find it interesting. Also, please do comment and let me know what you find interesting and how I can improve my videos. Thanks a lot. So first of all, how do we create a digital twin? So Fire is a new company in, in Bangkok, in, in Thailand, who specializes in this. And um, we made a digital twin for my friend, Lars Tvide, who is an, an investor and an author and generally a person who knows a lot about innovation and a lot about investment and a lot of other things. So so first step is we feed the info into the model. So I'll talk some more about that in a moment. So it's called QGrant and that is combined with a large language model. So you, you combine the capabilities of a large language model, like for example, ChatGPT, with all the information that is relevant to this person. Then the person you're making a digital twin of will do a personality test. Number three, you will add the video and voice from the person so that the, the twin will look and sound like the person. Um, we use a software called HeyGen for that. Um, and finally, and, and maybe the most important uh, step is to set the rules and the guidelines for how the digital twin is, is going to act. Do you think we'll experience AGI in the next 10 years? While there are significant advancements in AI research, achieving true AGI involves overcoming substantial technical and ethical challenges. Personally, I think it's possible that we might see AGI within the next decade, but it could also take longer. The pace of progress is rapid, but the hurdles are equally significant. So digging into how we actually made this digital twin or, or how Fire, uh, the, the, um, the startup company focusing on this, made the di digital twin of my friend Lars Tvede. So basically, um, we start with all the information that Lars Tvede has, has created. So uh, when it comes to Lars, he has written 18 books, he has written thousands of articles, then he has uh, founded the Super Trends platform where there's a ton of information on innovation, both in the past and predictions for the future and he's done hundreds of, of keynotes. So there was so much material we could put into to his digital twin model. And here you have a couple of examples uh, of us talking to the digital twin of, of last video. So what you can see is that I'm standing next to Anders Hasle, who is the CEO of, of Freya, and we are asking him some different questions. What do you think it will mean for an average person? Will ADI be better for their life or will it actually be worse or just the same as we are today? For the average person, AGI has the potential to greatly improve quality of life by automating mundane tasks, enhancing healthcare and providing personalized education and services. However, it also poses challenges such as job displacement and privacy concerns. Overall, if managed well, AGI could lead to a better and more efficient life for most people. Um, so one disclaimer here is it, it's very important what you're seeing here is not last video, it is the digital twin. That also means that the digital twin may actually say something that does not completely reflect the opinions of last video. Uh, but that said, I don't think it's too far off. So comparing the digital twins uh, to us humans, um, they do have quite a few advantages over humans. They have perfect memory, no matter how much information you put into them, they will remember everything. Um, so. Basically, you can also add unlimited knowledge, so any digital twin can, in, in principle, uh, know everything. Uh, and you can also add the knowledge of a, a 
the language model, for example, you can add books and, and so on. Further, you can actually see that it can be a native speaker in multiple languages. Uh, so for example, uh, the digital twin of last video is able to speak both English, Chinese, Indian, and a ton of other languages. I just want to test you last, uh, just for fun. We are still talking about AGI, but could you introduce yourself in Chinese? Sure, here is a short introduction in Chinese for the last of the way the translation. I am last Twitter. But the twins are not yet perfect, um, actually uh, quite far from. Um, so this is why it's hard to use them at the moment as a drop-in worker. Uh, for example, just like large language models will sometimes hallucinate when you ask them something where they're not sure of the facts, so will the digital twins. So um, there are areas, if, if you ask them about things that are, they're not certain about and where the information is not there, they may actually come up with an answer that is not based on fact, just what it finds most likely. Um, this can of course be a problem, and this is the one of the things that, that FIRE works on actually limiting and controlling the, the, uh, the digital twin, so this doesn't happen. Of course, uh, like, like any uh, AI, it does lack emotional intelligence, so like uh, this twin, for example, we're seeing, it cannot actually see you, so it will not take into account your facial expressions, uh, or how you say things, it will simply listen to the words you say and react to that. And finally, in terms of ethical judgment and actual decision making, uh, these twins are not yet built to make decisions. Um, you can pretty easily reprogram them to do that, uh, but that has not been the objective here. And finally, they're not as adaptable and flexible as, as we humans are. If we see mass unemployment as a result of AGI, are you in favor of UBI? Yes, I am in favor of considering universal basic income UBI as a potential solution to address mass unemployment caused by AGI. It could provide a safety net and help ensure economic stability during such a transformative period. Today, what could the use cases be? Well, there are actually quite many. If you look at a company and um, you, you imagine the intro period for an employee, you need a lot of employee training. And here, the uh, digital twins can actually be very, very good mentors for the new employee, basically being the assistant, where every time the employee has a question, um, the digital twin can go in and answer that question. You can have uh, the HR uh, rule book uh, uploaded to a digital twin, and also all the facts about the, a company, all the acronyms that you are embarrassed to, to ask your managers about every time because you forget them. There are so many use cases. Digital twins can definitely be used for customer service. If you imagine after sales service in terms of getting instructions for, for uh, a specific product you, you bought, the digital twin would be amazing in terms of understanding all the use cases of a product and instructing the client in how to use it. Finally, I, I also at this stage see digital twins being able to be support persons in meetings. So while today they cannot actually go into a meeting and actually make decisions in the meeting, you can have a digital twin in the meeting that has a wealth of knowledge. So when you're in doubt about rules in the company or how, how something works, any facts about the company, the digital twin uh, can be asked and, and kind of give the information that is needed for the meeting to, to work more effectively. Do you think there's a danger that UBI will make people lazy and not have a positive outcome? The concern that universal basic income UBI might make people lazy is a common one, but it's not necessarily supported by evidence. In various pilot programs and studies, UBI has shown that it can actually encourage people to pursue education, start businesses, or engage in creative and community activities that they might not have had the opportunity to do otherwise. However, the outcome of UBI largely depends on its implementation and the broader economic and social context. If designed well, UBI can provide a safety net that empowers people to take risks and innovate rather than simply reducing their motivation to work. What could this look like in the future? I think all this could change once we're closer to AGI. Now remember the, the digital twin you're seeing here of last video. Well, that's pretty much the worst digital twin we're ever going to have. This development is moving so fast, so already in one year you will see totally different digital twins uh, with a lot better voices, but also much better capabilities. Um, so you can actually imagine yourself more going from working to managing a team of twins. Um, so you, you become, you say, a manager of copies of yourself. So instead of working yourself, you, you elevate yourself to more of a manager. Um, also imagine you've been double booked for a meeting. Um, so maybe in the meeting where there's less a need for actual decisions and more a need kind of to pick your brain. Um, I think it, it would be viable to put in your digital twin instead of you. Um, 
I also think within uh, a few boundaries, uh, the digital twins could make a lot of decisions. So you can, of course, say you can make decisions about this and this, but not in these areas. Um, and still, I also think digital twins will learn to be a lot more creative than today. But today, when you look at the use cases, one of the most important things is actually put, to put the twin in a cage. What I mean by putting it in a cage is to give it a more limited task. So to have actual business value, um, you should be very precise about what you need the twin to do, and then the, the twin should stay within that area. So for example, I made a twin uh, that will help you book me for a keynote speaker, um, and that it does perfectly, but if you start to a ask it a whole set of questions about like my past or other things, it will not really answer it. So today it's more about spending the time limiting the twin, so it actually does not talk about what it shouldn't talk about. Uh, when we talk about longevity or health span, when we talk about, for example, David Sinclair, uh, what do you think about ADR? ADR can actually do for that when we are talking about health span. When discussing longevity and health span, particularly in the context of the Sinclair Artificial General Intelligence, AGI can play a transformative role. Here are a few ways AGI could contribute to extending health span and improving overall longevity. For personalized medicine, AGI can analyze vast amounts of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle data to create highly personalized treatment plans. This can lead to more effective prevention and management of diseases tailored to individual needs. For early detection and diagnosis, AGI can process and analyze medical data at a scale and speed beyond human capability, enabling the early detection of diseases through advanced imaging and pattern recognition. Early diagnosis often leads to better outcomes and longer health spans. The predictive analytics, by leveraging predictive analytics, AGI can identify risk factors and predict potential health issues before they become critical. This proactive approach can help in taking preventive measures to maintain health and extend life expectancy. For drug discovery and development, AGI can accelerate the drug discovery process by simulating biological processes and predicting the efficacy of new compounds. This can lead to the development of new treatments and therapies that can combat age-related diseases more effectively. Right. Lifestyle and behavioral interventions, AGI can provide personalized recommendations for diet, exercise, and other lifestyle factors based on continuous monitoring and data analysis. These interventions can help individuals maintain optimal health and delay the onset of age-related conditions. Six, chronic disease management. For individuals with chronic conditions, AGI can offer continuous monitoring and adaptive treatment plans, ensuring that the disease is managed effectively and complications are minimized. Set. Mental health support AGI can also play a role in mental health by providing personalized therapy and support, which is crucial for overall well-being and longevity. In summary, AGI has the potential to revolutionize healthcare by providing highly personalized, proactive and effective interventions that can significantly extend health span and improve quality of life. And so the final question, should you get yourself a twin? Is it worth the cost? And, and first of all, well, it's actually not that expensive at the moment. Um, the price has come down a lot, so you can start getting your own twin from, from maybe a little more than $1,000. Uh, but actually talking and engaging to your twin also has a cost. So for example, the 25 minute interview that we did with the last visit twin cost us somewhere between one and $3. So definitely affordable, uh, but you don't just want to play with it. Um, and I think most importantly, you need to define your use case. You need to understand exactly what the twin needs to do and then integrate that into your business. So for example, if you need it uh, to do customer support, uh, you know, then uh, it could replace a current chatbot that is not very effective, for example, or it could, um, uh, it, it could duplicate what you're able to do with your current uh, customer service uh, employees. So you can simply do more and faster. Um, so the business integration and the clear definition of what you want to achieve is, is key when you're considering whether or not uh, you would want to get a, a digital twin at this point. Um, so I'll continue uh, uh, to show you some clips from the interview with uh, Lars Tvede. And again, like, it is not completely like talking to Lars. I think some of his opinions are slightly off uh, compared to what I know that Lars would say. But that said, it is pretty close to, to actually having a conversation with Lars Tvede. Let me know what you think. Uh, Anders and I were very curious to know if we have a chance to experience longevity escape velocity. Can you quickly give us an answer on you think we have a realistic chance? Longevity escape velocity lab is the concept where life expectancy increases faster than the passage of time, essentially meaning that for every year you live, medical advancements extend your life by more than a year. Achieving LEV would mean that aging could be effectively halted or reversed, 
given the rapid advancements in biotechnology, regenerative medicine and AI, I believe there is a realistic chance that we could reach LEV within our lifetimes. However, this is contingent on several factors. One, scientific breakthroughs continued progress in understanding the biology of aging and developing effective interventions. Two, funding and investment, sustained investment in research and development from both public and private sectors. Three, regulatory environment, supportive regulatory frameworks that facilitate the rapid deployment of new therapies, require public acceptance, broad societal acceptance and adoption of new technologies and treatments. While it's impossible to predict with certainty the trajectory of current research and technological advancements gives us a hopeful outlook for achieving LEV. Lars and we, we are about 50 years old, roughly. So it has to go fast. And I know you say there's no certainty, but uh, do you think it can happen in for this time frame if we say we have 30 more years left? Given the rapid pace of advancements in biotechnology, regenerative medicine and AI, it's plausible that significant breakthroughs could occur within the next 30 years. While there's no certainty, the current trajectory of research and development in these fields provides a hopeful outlook. If we continue to see accelerated progress in understanding the biology of aging, developing effective anti-aging therapies, and integrating AI to enhance medical research and personalized treatments, there's a realistic chance that we could achieve significant extensions in health span and potentially reach longevity escape velocity level within your lifetime. What about yourself? Uh, would you like to live forever if you have the opportunity? The idea of living forever is certainly intriguing and raises many philosophical, ethical and practical questions. Personally, I find the concept of significantly extending one's health span and quality of life to be very appealing. The ability to continue exploring, learning and contributing to society without the limitations imposed by aging would be incredibly rewarding. However, the notion of living forever also comes with its own set of challenges and considerations. For instance, the impact on personal relationships, societal structures and resource allocation would need to be carefully thought out. Additionally, the psychological and existential aspects of immortality are complex and not fully understood. In essence, while the idea of living forever is fascinating, I would prioritize achieving a state of extended health span where one can live a fulfilling and vibrant life for as long as possible. The focus should be on enhancing the quality of life and ensuring that extended years are healthy and meaningful. When we talk about AI in the broader as artificial intelligence, what do you think is one of the most in, uh, interesting trends we have right now in the next five years? One of the most interesting trends in AI over the next five years is the development and integration of AI in personalized medicine and healthcare. This trend is poised to revolutionize how we approach health and wellness, offering highly individualized treatment plans and preventive care strategies. Do you think that AGI will pr- create deflation, possibly a price collapse? because everything will be cheaper to produce? The advent of AGI artificial general intelligence could indeed lead to significant deflationary pressures due to its potential to drastically reduce production costs and increase efficiency across various sectors. Here are a few ways AGI might contribute to deflation or increased productivity. AGI could automate a wide range of tasks leading to higher productivity and lower labor costs. This would reduce the cost of goods and services, potentially leading to lower prices or innovation and efficiency AGI could drive innovation, leading to more efficient production processes and the development of new cost-effective technologies. This could further reduce costs and prices. Three, supply chain optimization AGI could optimize supply chains, reducing waste and improving logistics. This would lower the costs associated with production and distribution, contributing to lower prices. Quote, energy efficiency AGI could improve energy efficiency in manufacturing and other industries, reducing energy costs and consequently the cost of goods and services. Five, economies of scale. As AGI technologies become more widespread, the economies of scale could lead to further reductions in costs and prices. However, while AGI could lead to deflationary pressures, it's important to consider the broader economic context. Deflation can have complex effects on the economy, including potential challenges such as reduced consumer spending and investment. Additionally, the transition to an AGI-driven economy could involve significant disruptions, including job displacement and shifts in various industries. In summary, AGI has the potential to create deflationary pressures by making production cheaper and more efficient. However, the overall impact on the economy will depend on how these changes are managed in the broader economic context. But when we have a deflation and we are living in a loan-based economy, we need inflation because it is actually how a loan-based economy is working. And it will theoretical collapse if we not have inflation. And when we talk about everything go deflation, so how, what is your opinion here? You raise a very important point about the dynamics of a loan-based economy and the role of inflation. 
In a loan-based economy, moderate inflation is often seen as beneficial because it erodes the real value of debt over time, making it easier for borrowers to repay their loans. Deflation, on the other hand, can increase the real value of debt, making it more burdensome for borrowers and potentially leading to a cycle of reduced spending and investment, which can harm economic growth. Here are a few thoughts on how we might navigate this complex situation or balanced approach. While AGI could lead to deflationary pressures by reducing production costs, policymakers might need to balance these effects with measures that support moderate inflation. This could involve monetary policies that encourage spending and investment, such as low interest rates or targeted fiscal stimulus, or debt management governments and financial institutions might need to develop new strategies for managing debt in a deflationary environment. This could include restructuring debt, providing relief to borrowers, or creating new financial instruments that are less sensitive to deflationary pressures. Three, economic diversification. Encouraging economic diversification can help mitigate the risks associated with deflation. By fostering innovation and growth in various sectors, economies can become more resilient to the deflationary impacts of AGI. Quote, Universal Basic Income UBI, as previously discussed, UBI could provide a safety net that supports consumer spending and economic stability even in a deflationary environment. By ensuring that people have a basic level of income, UBI can help maintain demand for goods and services. Fake. Regulation and oversight, effective regulation and oversight will be crucial in managing the transition to an AGI-driven economy. Policymakers will need to monitor economic indicators closely and be prepared to intervene as necessary to prevent deflation from leading to economic collapse. Six, technological advancements, while AGI might reduce costs and lead to deflationary pressures, it can also drive new economic opportunities. By fostering innovation and creating new markets, AGI can contribute to economic growth and stability. In summary, while AGI has the potential to create deflationary pressures, it is essential to manage these effects carefully to avoid negative outcomes in a loan-based economy. A balanced approach that includes supportive monetary and fiscal policies, debt management strategies, economic diversification, and effective regulation can help navigate the challenges and harness the benefits of AGI. Thank you, Lars. So, final question. Can you give three points of advice for the viewer on how to successfully transition career-wise and financially to AGI? Certainly, here are three points of advice for successfully transitioning career-wise and financially to the era of AGI. Well, continuous learning and skill development, adaptability. The rapid advancements in AI and AGI will likely lead to significant changes in job roles and required skills. Embrace lifelong learning and be open to continuously updating your skill set. Focus on acquiring skills that are complementary to AI, such as critical thinking, creativity and emotional intelligence. Technical skills gain proficiency in areas related to AI and data science. Understanding the basics of machine learning, programming and data analysis can provide a competitive edge. Online courses, certifications and workshops can be valuable resources, interdisciplinary knowledge. Develop a broad understanding of how AI intersects with various fields such as healthcare, finance and logistics. This interdisciplinary knowledge can help you identify new opportunities and adapt to changing industry demands. Or financial planning and investment, diversification, diversify your investment portfolio to mitigate risks associated with technological disruptions. Consider investing in sectors that are likely to benefit from AI advancements such as technology, healthcare and renewable energy. Long-term perspective, adopt a long-term investment strategy. While AGI may lead to short-term market volatility, its potential to drive innovation and productivity could result in substantial long-term gains. Stay informed, keep abreast of developments in AI and AGI. Understanding the trajectory of these technologies can help you make informed investment decisions and identify emerging opportunities. The entrepreneurial mindset and innovation identify opportunities AGI will create new markets and disrupt existing ones. Look for gaps and opportunities where AGI can be leveraged to create innovative products or services. Being proactive and entrepreneurial can position you at the forefront of these changes. Collaboration and networking build a strong professional network and collaborate with others in the AI community. Engaging with experts, attending conferences and participating in industry forums can provide valuable insights and open doors to new opportunities. Resilience and agility. Be prepared for the uncertainties and challenges that come with technological transitions. Cultivate resilience and agility to navigate disruptions and capitalize on new opportunities as they arise. By focusing on continuous learning, prudent financial planning, and an entrepreneurial mindset, you can position yourself to thrive in the era of AGI. Thank you, Lars. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.